Carlos Sainz promised it in Austin, and he kept his word. In Mexico City, after expressing his wish to win one last race with Ferrari before leaving the team, an opportunity to celebrate and thank the team for four years of work, Carlos was absolutely impeccable and turned his goal of a stage victory into reality. From Friday onward, he worked meticulously, excelling through the free practice sessions, achieving a champion-level pole in qualifying, leaving his rivals behind, and delivering a flawless race. He handled everything masterfully from the start, navigating the first corner safely, to his decisive overtake on the Dutch Red Bull driver to reclaim the lead of the GP. From then on, Carlos Sainz maintained full control until the end, claiming his second victory of 2024. This achievement was possible, backed by data, thanks to a Ferrari that, with the arrival of new upgrades in Monza first and the flexible wing in Singapore later, has emerged as the revelation of the final part of the 2024 Formula One Championship, quick in qualifying and equally strong in the race, especially in tire management. With a double podium in Mexico, this car has even surpassed Red Bull in the constructor's standings, reducing the gap to McLaren to just 29 points and now battling with them consistently. This scenario invites dreams of what was once unimaginable just days ago. With four races remaining in the championship and a steadily improving SF24, with two favorable tracks still to come, Ferrari may approach a historic and unexpected feat, bringing home the constructor's title. On the other hand, Charles Leclerc fell victim to an incident caused by Alexander Albin in the first free practice session for the Mexico City GP last weekend. The Williams car hit the SF24 assigned to Ferrari Driver Academy member Oliver Behrman within minutes, leaving the Monegasque without the necessary data to fine-tune his Ferrari at a race heavily affected by the thin air at 2,240 meters on the Mexican plateau. The first hour was dedicated by the Marinello team to evaluating some important aspects, such as the distribution of hybrid energy over a lap, power unit cooling, brake cooling, and turbo optimization, subjected to unusual and repeated strain. These may seem like details from the outside, but when it comes to fine-tuning on an atypical circuit, every small element impacts the result. Add to this the fact that the second free practice session for the Mexican Grand Prix was conditioned by a mandatory Pirelli tire test for the 2025 prototype, and it is clear that Charles Leclerc faced setups that did not add up at the 4.304 km Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez in Mexico City. Moreover, Charles Leclerc does not favor cars with an understeering tendency, preferring to brake almost up to the apex with a rear end that helps with cornering. Mexico City, however, is a track that, due to its characteristics, favors a driving style suited to handling understeer, with Carlos Sainz clearly demonstrating this. The Spaniard took pole position and won the race with undisputed superiority. It is part of the game, but there is some regret that perhaps the Monegasque could have completed a 1-2 finish for the Italian side in Mexico City, replicating the success in the United States Grand Prix at the Circuit of the Americas in Austin where he took the victory. All of this to say that Ferrari is expressing its maximum technical potential, competing on par with McLaren, which is rightly considered the universal car adaptable to any track. The events on the American continent are not yet over. The Formula One calendar presents us with a triple header and the Brazilian Grand Prix is scheduled to take place next weekend. Interlagos is another high altitude venue, although Sao Paulo's 700 meters is hardly comparable to Mexico's 2,240 meters with a 17% air density reduction compared to 30% last Sunday. Max Verstappen will have to resort to his fifth engine to complete the 2024 Formula One championship, while Ferrari has not, at least for now, planned any replacements in terms of power unit components, even though the internal combustion engine endures severe strain with 70% of the lap at full throttle. In Brazil, Ferrari aims to continue its positive streak which has brought it to just 29 points behind McLaren, who leads the Constructors' Championship. Simulations for Interlagos conducted back home in Maranello suggest that the track should be favorable for the SF24 single-seater, which, thanks to the more flexible wing introduced in Austin, seems to have achieved enviable balance. At the Interlagos circuit, we will see a car without major technical upgrades, as the final ones are likely to appear in Qatar, but with adjustments to the red car suited to a track requiring medium aerodynamic load, the Italian side has found good race balance, despite the fact that they need to seek better performance from the soft compound tires in the qualifying session, 
with Pirelli opting for the C2, C3, and C4 compounds at Sao Paulo. And here lie Ferrari's doubts. The Brazilian circuit has undergone resurfacing work. In a weekend featuring the sprint race format, the single free practice session will be crucial for understanding the characteristics of the new surface with unknown grip. The Marinello team usually completes its homework well, and in races with the sprint format, the Ferrari engineers and technicians manage to put a well-prepared car on track. However, at Interlagos, it will be essential not to lose a minute on track to adapt their parameters to the new track surface. It is therefore worth pointing out that this unknown factor could ruin all simulations along with temperature changes. The SF24 car prefers warmer conditions, while the weather forecast, which is highly changeable in this area, could quickly alter scenarios, as rain is forecasted for Sunday's race. The dream of winning the Constructors' Championship has now become not so forbidden and is one that, by necessity, will also pass through the Brazilian GP scheduled for this weekend. Ferrari, therefore, approaches it without any new technical updates for the SF24, but rather only track-specific adjustments, confident in the simulations carried out at Marinello, which suggests the car is still very much in the game and potentially able to chip away a few more points from the Papaya team. In this race, the team led by Frederick Vasseur aims to continue the car's development, particularly in terms of single-lap performance. To achieve this, setting up the car as precisely as possible will be crucial especially given the sprint weekend format at Interlagos, with only one free practice session to adjust the SF24 car. Much of the work will need to be done on the simulator, although recent resurfacing work in Brazil might reduce the alignment between track and simulator data. At the season start, Fred Vasseur predicted five wins for the SF24, and the goal was brilliantly achieved last Sunday, yet the positive streak may continue, potentially recovering more points against the Woking team. Now, the French team principal is avoiding bold declarations, although he is fully aware of Marinello's potential and the risks they may face in the challenging trip to Sao Paulo. As the final race of the American triple header approaches, the French manager reflects on their recent success in maximizing the potential of their package. With the Brazilian Grand Prix marking the fifth sprint weekend of the season, the entire team faces a significant physical and mental challenge at Interlagos. Ferrari's team principal emphasized the increased importance of support from Marinello under this demanding format. The preparation began well before the team departed for Austin, with simulator work, and has continued tirelessly over the past three weeks, including work in the remote garage and analyses based on track data after each race. Fred Vasseur is keen to acknowledge not only the outstanding trackside efforts by the Marinello team, but also the dedication of those contributing from the home base to ensure the cars are immediately competitive despite limited practice. The team, spanning Marinello and Sao Paulo, aims to provide Charles and Carlos with a strong initial balance and setup so they can focus solely on driving. Given that weather could be a factor at Interlagos, Vasseur highlighted the need for everyone to stay sharply focused to prepare for all potential scenarios. Confidence and momentum are high, and he expressed a commitment to maintaining this intensity with a firm intent to defer any standings-related considerations for later.